कंसेप्ट ऑफ इनिशियल एंड फाइनल कंडीशन इन स्विचिंग सर्किट्स दिस एरो रिप्रेजेंट स्विच इज गोइंग टू क्लोज एंड दिस एरो रिप्रेजेंट स्विच इज गोइंग टू ओपन एंड दिस टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो रिप्रेजेंट स्विच इज गोइंग टू क्लोज एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इट इज अज्यूम दैट क्लोजिंग और ओपनिंग ऑफ स्विच टेक प्लेस इंस्टेंटेनियसली टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो रिप्रेजेंट इनिशियल कंडीशन एंड टी इज इक्वल टू इनफाइनाइट रिप्रेजेंट फाइनल कंडीशन और स्टडी स्टेट कंडीशन टी ऑफ जीरो माइनस इज अ इंस्टेंट जस्ट बिफोर चेंजिंग स्विच एंड टी ऑफ जीरो प्लस इज अ इंस्टेंट जस्ट आफ्टर चेंजिंग स्विच टी इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो ऑल इंस्टेंट आफ्टर स्विचिंग फॉर रजिस्टर रजिस्टर डज नॉट स्टोर एनर्जी एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू ओहोम्स लॉ V is equal to I into R. This is a linear and time-independent equation. So, in case of initial condition, the resistance will be as it is, and in case of T is equal to zero plus, this resistance will be as it is, and also in case of T is equal to infinite, this resistance will be as it is. But in case of inductor, current cannot. Current cannot change instantaneously, so I of zero minus is equal to I of zero plus. I of zero minus is before switching, and I of zero plus is after switching. This is a current before switching, and this is a current after switching. Let V L is the voltage across this inductor, so V L is equal to L d I by d T. This d i by d t represent change in current with respect to time. Now, if no initial current, if no initial current is passing through inductor, then initial condition will be like this. And in case of t is equal to zero plus, that is the switch is closed. So it will act as a open circuit because V L is equal to infinite. This V L will be infinite. Since the T is equal to zero, so this will be V L is equal to infinite. So this V L is infinite. That time, this inductor will be open circuited. And when T is equal to infinite, that is, this T is infinite. That time, this V L will be zero. V L is zero means this will be short circuited. If initial current is passing through inductor, that is, this I O is passing through the inductor initially. Then, at T is equal to zero plus, the same current will pass through the inductor. And at T is equal to infinite, uh, same current will pass through inductor, and it is in parallel with short circuit. Now, for capacitor, voltage cannot change instantaneously. For capacitor, voltage cannot change instantaneously. Let voltage across this capacitor is V C. Now, voltage before switching is equal to voltage after switching. V C of zero minus is equal to V C of zero plus. Also, I C. This I C is equal to C D V by D T. This D V by D T is the change in voltage with respect to time. now capacitor without initial voltage so initial condition will be like this and at t is equal to 0 plus that is the switch is closed then that time the capacitor will act like short circuit because if we substitute t is equal to 0 that means the current will be this ic will be infinite and infinite ic is infinite that is this capacitor is short circuit and when we substitute t is equal to infinite so this t is equal to infinite that time ic will be zero and ic is zero that is that means the capacitor is open circuit now when capacitor with initial voltage vo now at t is equal to zero plus same voltage will be there across capacitor and at t is equal to infinite it will be vo 
and in series with open circuit. So at t is equal to infinite, it will behave like this. Vo in series with open circuit. 